This is a video I've thought about making for a very long time, but I've only really gotten to a place where I could make it recently. And I wanted to be transparent, open up with you about why I haven't uploaded to YouTube as much in the last few years, because there's reasons for it. And transparency is good, right? So no memes here, just being honest and being open. And it's kind of hard because everyone sees me as this happy guitar meme guy playing songs on Clone Hero. When the last few years I have been battling some hardcore depression to the point where I had weeks where I wasn't getting out of bed. I wasn't really myself. I wasn't very good at all. I was misdiagnosed originally with an anxiety disorder back in, what is it, 2019? And it took a little while to figure out that I have ADHD and I've made some really bad coping decisions throughout my life. Uh, ways to get around things about myself I didn't understand. I mean, I go back to streams all the time a few years ago where I would always say, why am I like this? And well, I've, I've slowly been figuring that out, but unfortunately it's caused a very long battle with depression. And figuring that out and growing and learning from it has taken way too much time, more than I'd like to admit. Um, my drive here with this YouTube channel and with Twitch and with everything I've done never really came from a healthy place. And there were some, some issues in my, uh, my history that drove me to want to be a successful person doing it the right way. And I felt like everything would be great if I just was able to make myself into something on Twitch and YouTube, and when I did, it didn't help, and that's, uh, that's hard, because I didn't just suddenly feel better. There was this hole in myself I was trying to fill, and um, the success couldn't fill it. That, that's something that you don't, there's not really words for. There's not really words for, because when you get there and you think everything's going to be fine, you say to yourself, well, what now? And um, I've been working through that. <laughs> um, I edited all kinds of videos in the past few years that never made it to YouTube, whether it be FCs of songs on Clone Hero or um, an accomplishment of some, uh, some variety, a meme, a mashup. It didn't matter. I just had this imposter syndrome about myself where it didn't feel like it mattered anymore. Like I had fallen off the bandwagon and would anybody really care about my content anymore? Um, I kind of feel like I lost myself a bit. Uh, I tried doing video essays last year as a way to have more hands-on with editing. And again, I ran into the same issues of wanting to be perfect with everything, not realizing that I am enough as is and that people enjoy my content for me. This is stuff that I have had to battle with. And hey, this is no script here. I'm just rambling off the top of my head and trying to be as open as I can possibly be with this. Because frankly, I love to preach transparency, but this has been, this has been very hard to be open about. I, uh, anything to, it's anything to admit that the problem was internal. I felt kind of like a marble at the bottom of what I've been calling the depression bowl because depression was all around me. Everything about the things I enjoyed and the things I wanted to do with my life brought me down. And everywhere I looked, I, I felt like there was no way out. I'd look up, I'd see that there was a way out, I'd push myself up the walls of the depression bowl and no matter how hard I pushed, I couldn't make it over the lip. I couldn't make it out. And so I'd roll back down. I'd just roll back down. And that, that's the months and weeks where I just stopped uploading. That's when I just disappear. It's because I'm struggling. And the worst part about depression is that I wasn't reaching out to anybody for help. 
depression is a stable state. You end up, okay, well, I guess this is my life now. So why not just deal with it? And let me tell you, that doesn't work. You, <laughs> that doesn't work. Um, I ended up with some ridiculously dark thoughts. And yeah, that doesn't really jive with me. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really one to dwell on negativity endlessly, or at least I don't want to be, but I have been right. I, I don't, that's the hard part. I don't want to be that, but in the last few years, I kind of have been because my brains kept me there. And when all of my idols from growing up are people who've battled this, people like Robin Williams, people like Jason David Frank from Power Rangers, or Chester Bennington. Um, I mean, Linkin Park was the band that made me fall in love with music. I wanted to study and learn and get better at it. And that was when I was 13. I got it as a, uh, the, their hybrid theory album as a birthday present. Thanks, Christina from middle school. Christy, I hope you're well. Um, <laughs> uh, but it was, it was from then. I mean, hybrid theory opened the door for me, Lincoln Park, Chester. And when all of my largest inspirations and idols have left this earth of their own hands, all for struggles that, that we can't see from the outside, it hits a lot harder. It, uh, it, it hits a lot harder. So you can imagine how I felt with Chester as this massive inspiration for me when just about, it's a little under a month ago now, um, the song Lost by Linkin Park came out. And that's an older song. If you haven't heard it, I'd recommend checking it out. It's an album, it's, it's, it was a, originally going to be on their album Meteora, and a long time ago, 20 years now. And it didn't make it, and it just got released, and it has Chester's vocals on it. And it's a song wholeheartedly about battling with depression. And I listened to that song on loop, on loop when it dropped, and I sobbed. I broke all of the barriers that was stopping me from feeling, and I sobbed. And I can't explain the emotion of somebody you look up to who's given you the desire to approach things in life in a new way like I was as a teen when I heard Chester the first time. Hearing that voice after he's been gone for over five years now and explaining the same things I've been feeling again, but now in a completely different way. I mean, the lyrics for the song uh, lost in these memories, um, living behind my own illusion. Yeah, that's basically what these last few years have been for me. Uh, lost all my dignity, trapped uh, in my, or, or living inside my own confusion, I believe it is. Trapped doesn't be another good word for it, though. Um, I have lived in a lot of confusion, wondering if I could still be who I want. Can I grow and be better? And someone introduced an idea to me uh, recently that was called positive disintegration. When you realize that you are not in the position you want and you disintegrate who you are as a person for the better. And I feel like I've been kind of going through that, having to drop some of the emotions that were weighing me down from the past that, frankly, no one needs to even know about. No one needs to hear about it because it's, it's stuff that it doesn't matter in the long, long term. It does, it, in the grand scheme of things, what matters is following your heart, doing the things that you enjoy and, and making the most of the life we've got. I, I didn't want to end up like Chester or Jason David Frank or Robin Williams and the dark thoughts that were going through my head. Ah, uh, there aren't words. I, I might be smiling now, but again, uh, coping. I've, I've used happiness as a coping tool a lot in my life. Smiling is a defense mechanism. 
it makes unpleasant things a little bit easier to get through. Um, and let me tell you, being this open is not the easiest. I'm not editing this. This is my first take. I hit record and I'm just talking because this is more real. This is more real. And I, I want that. I'm tired of editing things down or trying to make things perfect. Nah, bro, this is me. I'm just going to be open with it because that's who I am. And I have dealt with some bullshit and it's okay to talk about it. I am not always the happy meme guy. But I can still enjoy that and share that with people. And I'm finally to a place now where I think I can do that. And that's exciting. It's, it's taken a lot. I'm back in therapy again. Thankfully, my first run with therapy in 2019 did not go very well. I uh, ended up with a therapist who said I was acting and that uh, she didn't believe me. I definitely stormed out of that office and uh, took me years to get back to find a new person who was a better fit to really start working through some of these issues. Um, going hard for myself in the future. I'm, I'm going to be doing this for me because I want to share things with people that I enjoy. And I can say that I did that in the past till I'm blue in the face, but I didn't. I tried to make people happy. Again, that's something I've done my whole life is not worry about myself, but try to make others smile. And I'm ready to make others smile again while also doing that for myself, making myself smile. And I think I'm doing a damn good job so far. Not just a coping smile, a real one, a real one. I've started doing more things for myself, like watching wrestling on streams because, well, I'm a giant wrestling nerd. I've been a fan for like 25 years now. And uh, yeah, dude, wrestling is my favorite thing in the world. Who doesn't love uh, a good show, right? Good storylines. I mean, even it's bad if you can share it with people, it's still fun. So uh, we've been doing AEW watch alongs on Wednesday nights on my streams. Of course, I can't show the video. Copyright's a, a pain in the ass, you know, but uh, it's still fun to share with people. And we've built up a good little community doing that, which is awesome. And I've started teaching myself something I've always wanted to do, which was to play the drums. And I am completely convinced that Clone Hero is a great way for people to learn the drums. I'll be making some content around that in the future and sharing my progress because I'm passionate about it and I think that it's the biggest um, potential place for growth for Clone Hero in the future. I think that Rocksmith for guitar is very similar to Clone Hero for drums. And I'll, I'll talk more about that in the future since I'll get off topic if I, if I go there now. Ooh, ADHD and not being able to stay on one subject. What's that like? Uh, <laughs> um, I'm going to do my best to ask for more help. And by that, I mean, actually ask for people to hit the like button, subscribe. I'm not being a burden by doing my job. And that's something that comes with the territory. I'm making a Patreon. I made a Kofi and I never actually promoted it because I was worried that people would think I was asking too much. And I'm not even linking that stuff in this video. Because, well, I, I don't want people to think I'm begging for it. There's my brain, right? I just want to be open, but I, I, I still worry about how people will, will see this. Or if people will say, oh, you're so soft, man, you should suck it up. Nah, bro, that's the problem, too. We need to feel. We need to all grow. We need to get better at this so that people don't go into a uh, depression that lasts for years and feel like they're not going to make it out of it and they can't do the things they want to do in their lives when they're damn good at it, because I am. And I can say that now. I've done some really cool things. I've gotten to travel the world because of a plastic guitar. I, I've been able to do this still with four streams a week on Twitch, if I'm lucky, for the last few years without posting on YouTube. And I've still been able to somehow make it work. Not many people can do that. And I need to give myself credit for it, especially if I've been battling through depression this whole time. What the... Give myself the credit. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep growing and making more content and sharing it. And yeah, it might not be videos every day like it was six, seven years ago here, but I'm going to share more 
And if you want to come over live, then hey, let's let's hang out on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Jason Paradise. I'm there live on the weekdays, usually starting around 3, 4 p.m. Eastern. But I've been trying to make that a little bit earlier lately, too. So I'll do better about posting my schedule. Stuff that I have got to work on and, and be more open with. Be more present. Not just the guy who's struggling on his own and won't reach out for help. So, uh, I think that about covers it. I haven't really got a bullet list or anything like that to, uh, to fall back on here, and I've probably missed things. And I, I'm sure somebody's going to say, well, well, what about this? And, and if you do have questions, I'll try my best to answer them. Throw them in the comments. I will get a new video up in the next week. I've got a drummy boy that I'd like to share with you. Uh, Talk a little bit more about, show some of the clips of, of what I've learned from my last year of trying to learn to play drums. And what, this will be nine months now since I started on Clone Hero. And I think I'd, I've, I've proven my point pretty well so far with, with going from nothing to learning on it. So, anywho, I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you for watching. And there's nothing else. There's no more call to action here or anything like that. If you want to hang out, come over on Twitch. But... I just appreciate you wondering about how I've been because I've been lost. Chester said it best. I'm ready to be found. I hope to uh, see you on Twitch soon. Thank you. Have a great day.